So it's a miracle that we're together today. And I apologize for the delay. It's a serious delay. And I will try that today. She will be a mute, a machzik es hameruba. So the topic we are discussing, as you know, you got the Mala Mekoimis, Yesai the Geda Mitzvah Sukkah. And what I say today seems to be a big Kiddush, even though to me, I think it is very, very pushed and very logical. The Minchas Chinuch, a very famous and well known Minchas Chinuch, Shin Chofrei, comes to be Miyashev. A kasha that we find twice in Taisus in the Sechet Sukkah Daftes, and once again the Vlamid Sukkah Gzula. Why don't Chazal say it's possible Mishul Mitzvah Habo Ba'Avera? Just like Lulav Agazu is Mitzvah Habo Ba'Avera. Sukkah Gzula, Chazal give us different interpretations, and why wouldn't it be? because of the din of mitzvah haboba aveira. So the Minchas Chenech says, Sukkah, besides Leil Rishon, that we learn Tezvav Tezvav from Chag is Mitzvah Kiyumis. If he does not eat a Sudas Kava, he has no Chiv to sit in the Sukkah. And therefore, by a Mitzvah Kiyumis, there is no Psul of Mitzvah Abo Ba'aveira. Mitzvah Abo Ba'aveira is only a mitzvah that one must perform. He has a chiyuv. But a mitzvah kiyum is essentially is not about sitting in a sukkah. You have as if an aveira to eat chutz le sukkah. And therefore a mitzvah of this nature, there is no psul of mitzvah Abo Ba'aveira. And the Menchus Chinuch says the same regarding tzitzis. Reb Shemesh Kop and Shari Yosha on one hand, Reb Yosef Engel on the other hand, argue with the Menchus Chinuch. But I want to touch upon a very clear aspect of the Menchus Chinuch. His Havana, as the Havana of many other Achalim, that Sukkah called Shiv was a mitzvah kiyumis. If you don't eat an achilles kva, you don't have a chi of a sukkah. If you don't sleep, if it would be possible for a person not to sleep called shuva, he wouldn't have a chi of sukkah. Laniyas daiti sukkah called shivu is a chi It's not a mitzvah kiyumis. It is a mitzvah kiyumis. But when we find in the Gemara, teishvu ke'enta duru, and a sukkah of Chofrei, the Gemara says, we know Mitzayar put them in a sukkah because of Teshbuke and Taduru. So just like all year round, when a person has Tzar sitting at home, he would move out. So he's entitled to do the same with a sukkah. And if he has Tzar sitting in the sukkah, he doesn't need to sit in the sukkah, he could move out. What I want to explain is Facebook and Taduru is not only a Drosha Mesuyemis from which we learn a Halacha Mesuyemis, Mitzvah Potom and Asuka, it is the very definition of Mitzvah Sukkah. It is the very Haggadorah of Mitzvah Sukkah. So when the Torah says, the Sukkah stays to a Shivas Yomim, it's not a Mitzvah Kiyumis, it's a Chiyum. However, the way I understand that the way we understand this chiyuv is, you don't have a chiyuv to sit in the sukkah called shiva. You have a chiyuv to live in the sukkah called shiva. And that is what Chazal fundamentally mean when they say teishu ke'en taduru. So, if I would ask each and every one of you, everyone listening to this year, where do you live? You might be sitting now in the base medish. Under normal circumstances, we would be giving the shear somewhere in a shul, somewhere in a kodal, somewhere in a yeshiva. We all would be sitting together. And if I would ask, where do you live? You wouldn't say, I live in the Sanza Shtibo, in the Lakewood of base medish, in BMG or BTO or this shul or that kodal. 
you live where you live, you live at home, but right now you're sitting in the base medrash. So the gather of mitzvah sukkah is a chil. You need to live in the sukkah kol shivu, but you don't need to sit in the sukkah kol shivu. And that is precisely what Chazal mean when they say teishu ke'en taduru. So the most similar concept, the way I understand it, is the mitzvah of Yeshu Eretz Yisrael. We have a mitzvah to live in Eretz Yisrael. For the past seven months, since the Sea of Mishas in America, I haven't traveled abroad. I'm living in Eretz Yisrael. But in normal circumstances, I usually travel twice or three times a year to America, sometimes to Europe, sometimes to different countries. But even when I am in America, East Coast, West Coast, or in Europe, or anywhere, I don't live there. I live in Eretz Yisrael. So you live in Eretz Yisrael because that is where you have your home, but you might be traveling and you might be elsewhere. The same is regarding Mitzvah Sukkah. A person must be koiveya dira in Sukkah called Shiva. But it doesn't necessarily need to sit in this shit, so called shit. So, Belel Aleph Shulchad, when a person is Koveya Dira Besukkah, as long as he isn't Koveya Dira Chutz Besukkah, he lives in the Sukkah called Shiva. There is a sentence in Divrei Chayim Alatoira, not in Shuvis Divrei Chayim, but in Divrei Chayim Alatoira which seems to be a gewalde gechidosh that Dibra Chaim says, a person is mekayim mitzvah sukkah even when he is metalech b'shuk. And many don't understand. If he's in the shuk, if he's in the marketplace, how is he mekayim the mitzvah of sukkah? And I say yes. He is mekayim the mitzvah of sukkah because he was koveya dira mitzvah. Once you are Kaveya Dira Besuka, it is where you live. And if this is where you live, you're Makaim the Mitzvah Sukha, even if you're elsewhere. The same as Yeshu Eretz Yisrael. If you live in Eretz Yisrael, you might be visiting America, you might be visiting Europe, you might be wherever you may be. But your home is in Eretz Yisrael, your family is in Eretz Yisrael, that is where you live, and you're Makaim the Mitzvah Yeshiva Eretz Yisrael. So once a person is Koveya Dira Besuka, the Divachaim is right when he says he is Mishalach Bishuk. But even at that very same moment, he is Makayim, the mitzvah of a sukkah station of Shiva Syomin. So the point I'm trying to make, Teshu Ke'enta Duru, is not just the Halacha Misriyemis. It is not just what Chazal teaches us mitzvah photo menasuki. It is the very essence, the very mahus, the etzem magdora of mitzvah sukkah, which means you don't need to sit in the sukkah. You need to live in the sukkah. And therefore, sukkah kol shiva is a mitzvah chiyuvis and not a mitzvah kiyumis. Yet, if you don't need to eat them. So the skva, you don't need to sit in the sukkah. Because if you don't need a suda skva, you're not kaveya koveya suda, you're not koveya dira elsewhere. If you eat a suda skva out of the sukkah, then you kaveya dira out of the sukkah. And one cannot live in two places at the same time, mitzad mitzvah sukkah. And that is why as long as I don't eat an achila skva and I don't sleep with the sukkah, once I was Kaveya Dira in the Sukkah, I am a Kayim Mitzvah Sukkah, Kol Shiva. And Mitzvah Sukkah, Kol Shiva is a Mitzvah Chiyubis. You don't need to eat in the Sukkah. And if you don't eat an Achilles Kla, you don't need to go back to the Sukkah. It is only Leil Alaf Shulchag that we learn from Matzah, Zere Shove Tesbo, Tesbo, Machaga Matzah. So that you're machuyev to eat a kazayas pass in the sukkah. But once you do so, you live in the sukkah called shiva, and that is etzim the mitzvah. So there's a Mishnah.
Yusuke Daf Kof Ches Omed Aleph. It's one of the Poshet the Mishnas and Mesechet Sukkah. People almost think it's a gadata. But the way I understand that is the most fundamental Mishnah in the entire Mesechta defining Mitzvah Sukkah. Kol Shiva, Adam, Oisa, Beisre, Arai, Vizikosre, Kaba. Kalem no Maron Sukkah, Sos no Maron Sukkah. That is not only a detail. It's not only a detail of Mitzvah Sukkah. That is Mitzvah Sukkah. That is Yisoyed Advorim. That is Etzem HaNagdora. Kol Shiva. Odam Oisa Beisoy Arai Vesikosoy Kva. Once you do so, you are Makayim Mitzvah Sukkah Kol Shiva. So according to my opinion, we have a Gaval de Gechidosh. What is the din of Chedrochim Pturim in Asukha? So a person was Mehol Chedrochim Pturim in Asukha. Maybe he was anointed even the first night of Sukkot. Maybe the first night he was Mekayim, the mitzvah, but then he had to leave. And he was Pturim in Asukha. So he ate many Esudas Kvachutz Asukha. He comes home, Oishana Rabba, in the afternoon, two hours before the Shkian. He's not hungry. He has no reason to eat the Sudas Kva. But in my opinion, he is Mechuyev to go to the Sukhanira Mechidas Kva. Why is that? Because Kol Shiva, he was Poto. So he wasn't Makaya Mitzvah Sukkah. He was Korveya Suda Chutzla Sukkah. That means all these seven days he was not Makaya Mitzvah Sukkah. He wasn't Machuyim to be Makaya Mitzvah Sukkah because he was Al Khadrokan. But now when he comes on Mishanarab in the afternoon, he's no longer Potal. So from this moment on, he has a Chiyav of Sukkah. He's not hungry. He has no reason to eat. But he needs to force himself, go to the sukkah and eat an achilles kva because now you're no longer Mahakh Drukan, you got home. You no longer have a teretz not to be Makayim, it's the sukkah. You need to live in the sukkah, the sukkah stays with Shivas Yomim. So according to the Mechaz Chenech, it's a mitzvah kiyumis. So if I'm not eating, I'm potter from sukkah. According to my understanding, it's not a mitzvah humus, it's a mitzvah humus. So in normal circumstances, the Leil Aleph Shalchag, he was Kaveya Dira the Sukkah. If he's not Kaveya Dira Chutz the Sukkah, he has no problem. But according to my opinion, he has a problem. So called Shiva, he was Poto. As he comes home, he's no longer Poto. From this moment on, he has a chiyuv, a sukkos, teishu, shiva, siyam. This seems to be a very novel halacha. Did it occur to anyone throughout the ages? Yes, fascinating tshuva sarashva. Chela gimel, simen reish, dey zayim. And this is an argument between the shayel, the turn to the rashva, and the rashva himself. Not always do we know in Shiva Sarashoinim who are the people that asked the Gedolim their questions. But usually we assume that if we find the argumentation of the Shoyel in Shiva Sarashbo, we could assume it was a Gavra Rabba. Otherwise, his words, his opinions, his pilpul would not be found in Shiva Sarashbo. So there's a machlokes between the shoyel and the rashba, precisely this nakuda. So the shoyel of the rashba says, the person comes home, shana rabba, then he's chayiv to be makayim the mitzvah of sukkah, and he could be makayim the mitzvah in many ways, eating different ways, 
And then as for response, I don't know exactly what you mean. It could be Makayim Yisusuk in many ways. But the Rashba does react. And the Rashba says, if he comes home in in the afternoon, he does not need to be Kurveya Dirabi Sukha. And why not? Which is a profound argument. The way I understand the Rashba. The Rashba agrees with the Shail. On one hand, he's Mukhuyev the Sukkah. He is Mukhuyev the Sukkah because he's no longer Holchid Rochid. Now that he's home, what, what reason does he have not to be Kaveyadir of the Sukkah? However, saying that he's Mukhuyev to wash and eat the Sukkah, supply, even though he's not up to it, he's not hungry. That in itself goes against the principle of Teshmuk and Kadur Mitzdar Bottom and Asuk. So, on one hand, the Rashbu agrees. Lecha Oira, the Svari Yeshoda would be now that he's home, he's no longer Mahal Kedrochim. He no longer has any reason or any Ptur. Not to be Makayim Mitzvah Sukkah. But on the other hand, the principle of Facebook and Tadu is all encompassing. It is the same principle that teaches us Mitzvah Potom and Sukkah, which means you do not need to act in the Sukkah different than you would act in your home all year round. So all year round, if you're not hungry, you don't wash. If you're not up to it, you wouldn't eat the Sudas Kva. The same applies to Mitzvah Sukh. And if he comes home, the Shanarab in the afternoon, and he's not hungry, in normal circumstances, he would not wash and eat at home, Koto, from doing the same in the Sukh. But if we learn this Shubat Zarashba carefully, what I see in the Rashba is. If not for the Svora Teshu and Tadu, which patterns a person from Mitzvah Sukkah, if under these same circumstances he wouldn't eat the Suda at home, the Rashba would agree with the Shayel. If he was Ol Chedrochi and he comes back on the Shana Rabba, yes, now he has a Chiyu to live in the sukkah, and therefore he needs to wash. And this would seem a gewaldige chidosh. So my fundamental approach to mitzvah sukkah, you know, I, I apologize all my life. And the Mechah was a genius. I don't recall whether I ever told you this, but it's a very interesting, very interesting comment. The Goya Sheveld quotes Sir Isaac Newton was once asked, how does he dare to reject Archimedes, the Greek? He was a giant. Isaac Newton said, Archimedes was a giant, and I'm a little midget. But I'm a midget that stood on the giant's shoulders, and therefore I soar farther than he said. 500 years before Archimedes, we find the same Moshe in Chuvis Arid, Rabbeinu Yeshayahu Arishon, who was the Toys of Sarid. And he quotes the story, Kvar Omer Echod HaPhilosophi. How do we dare to disagree with the Rishonim, with our predecessors that were far greater than we are? So 800 years ago, the Toys of Sarid, Rabbeinu Yeshayahu Arishon, brings this Moshe. So many times when I, in my shiur, I disagree with the Menchus I do so with tremendous humbleness. The Menchus was a giant, and I am a little midget, but sometimes midget stands on the giant's shoulders, and he sees even farther than the giant who carries him on his neck, on his shoulders. So the Menchus understood 
that mitzvah sukkah called shivel be'etzem is a mitzvah kiyumis. If you want to eat, you need to eat in the sukkah. You don't want to eat, you don't have the mitzvah. And I say, no, taste sukkah and to do is the very definition of the mitzvah. It is not only a din of mitzvah, but a mitzvah sukkah. Kol shivel, you need to learn in the sukkah. And that is why you can't eat a suda chutz sukkah because if you eat a suda svar chutz sukkah, you're living chutz sukkah, and that's an avera. But as long as long as you're not kovei a suda chutz sukkah, your makayim is a sukkah called shiva. Yisod the shoyrish and many other sifrei musar and sifrei chasidus write in very harsh terms. One should not leave the sukkah. And the word the daily soil, they just didn't leave their sukkah. It was about uh, 45 years ago, I was a younger man. And I spent Chodesh Tishrei in Union City, New Jersey, by my great Levi, Koizim of Tzanzo, the Divrei Yatsev. And that year, it was raining cats and dogs all circus. Mamish. It barely stopped raining for a moment. And the Rebbe didn't leave the sukkah. He made a tish in the sukkah. And with a touch of humor, I say, I saw an esgolui from one little plate of soup. He gave shirayim to a hundred people. I'm paraphrasing it, more and during. Gemara says the opposite. So there was one little plate of soup and kama, kama bottle. He didn't leave his sukkah. And the Rebbe and the Hasidim covered their heads and their streimlach with plastic bags. What a sukkah we had. But the Divrei Chaim, the great Zaydi of the Kloysa Magadeva, as the story goes, didn't leave a sukkah even when it was raining and he was asked. But the Ramah says, If you sit in the sukkah, if you sit in the sukkah, 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 so why? How come you sit in the sukkah? So the Divra Chaim said, for a Kodesh Baruch Hu, I'm willing a head yet. I'm willing to be a head yet for a Kodesh Baruch Hu. That is not Derech HaMelech. I think we should all be noyeg like the Shulchan Aruch. When it's raining and you're mistaya, you leave the sukkah. Even great Tomei the Chachomim and Tzadikim did so. But there are always those Yechidim, those Yechid and those great Sadiqim, the Kloys of the Rebbe didn't leave us. I won't mention a name, but there was another great Rebbe in Borough Park or somewhere else. And that very same year, when it rained, he had the Tish in the base Madrash. And the Kloys of the Rebbe was angry and he said, Eret Shemoz at Kloys the Rabbi Beshot of Lakit and Alponov shouldn't make a Tish. You need to leave the sukkah a bit sad, broken hearted, you don't need to make a dish. I could see both ways in a positive light. I could understand that other Rebbe as well. So what? So there's no more Simchas Yomtev? Still have a mix of Simchas Achad and Simchas Yomtev. So why not for bring together with the Hasidim and Simchas Yomtev? So we're put up from Mitzvah Sukkah. Why not have a tish? Tish is part of the Avoid Hashem. I'm just trying to explain both opinions. And I definitely could see the justification of both Mahalchim. So the Kloiz and the ever felt. If your Odoin throws you out of the Sukkah, you need to leave Baboish Espon and don't make a tish. That other tzaddik felt, we still have a mitzvah of simchas yamtiv. And a tish is not just enjoying having fun, it's avoidance Hashem. 
to bring together with Hasidim, Rabbi the Sukkel, the Shiras, and the So, as in many other cases, there are different Rocham and Rabbi the I just want to make the point that some Siddiquim never left the Sukkah. So, the Yisod the Shorish Wavoidim, it admonishes us, and he says, one should sit in the Sukkah 24 hours a day. Unless he needs to do it for him, uh, you know, you, you need to go to the bathroom or similar. And if Yanka Vemden as well says, if you leave your sukkah, you're mabat la mitzvah to say. So according to my understanding, if you're makayim sukkah when you're in shul, so why is it so important to sit in the sukkah? No, that's not a kasha at all. I like hagdoras. I would put it this way. When you sit in the sukkah, you are mekayim mitzvah sukkah. When you're elsewhere, mitzvah sukkah is kayim as but it's not mekayim the mitzvah they do for you. And it's different. It's different. So when you actually sit in the sukkah, you're a kayim mitzvah sukkah begufoy, and that definitely has a chibu yisero. That is more chavivus. But on the other hand, once you are kaveya, Suda Korvei Adira Besukkah Mitzvah Sukkah Miskayem Esal Yodoy Kol Shiva Even when he is outside the Sukkah. So I know this seems to be a big hit, but to me it's Ma'oid Ma'oid Nesyashev Aralev. I think it's a treatise. Mem Cheso Medalech Gomar Melechol once again, that's a mission of Mem Chesom and Now we're dealing with the last day of Sukkot, Hoshana Rabba. He ate a Suda, midday. He no longer intends to eat a Sukkot. Nevertheless, the mission says, Don't tear down your Sukkot. Don't take it apart. And why not? Two different Perushim, Rashi and the Ram. Rashi says, Dilma Mikrele Sada. Maybe he will want to eat once again. And therefore, don't take apart your sukkah. Leave it intact. The Ran says, O Yistura Sukosoi, Sharai Chayev Losheves Vesukha Kor Shiva. What does the Ran mean? Kumar Malechwa. He no longer intends to eat in the sukkah. So why can't he take that sukkah apart? According to my understanding, if you no longer have a sukkah, how would you say I'm living in the sukkah? Which sukkah are you living in? You no longer have a sukkah. And that is why even though he's not sitting in the sukkah, Shana Rabba afternoon, but he needs to have that sukkah because he needs to dwell in the sukkah called Shiva. If that sukkah is no longer existent, it could no longer be considered living in the sukkah. He no longer has his sukkah. And that's the understanding of the Ran Loi Yistos. One more point. Probably someone else is waiting to give the Shia, so I won't be Marach. I just want to make one more comment. No shimptois me mitzvah saseisha's man grama. So no shim me ikara dinah kotar from lulavah and from sukkah. And it's a machlekes to be shayisif in the ramo where the noshim could make a brocha on mitzvah saseisha's man grama. But it's very interesting. In menhogech sam soifa we learn that in the home of the Chsam Soifa, the women did make a brocha on Lulav, but they did not make a brocha on Sukkot. The Chassan is Soifa with a Nun, not with a Mem. He was an Einikel of the Chsam Soifa. He married, his wife was an Einikel of the Chsam Soifa. So, he writes, that was the minig of the Sam Soifa, and he gives different interpretations. Why? The Yeshua Yanka brings, that's minig Lemberg. Since the days of the Chacham Tzvi. No shem say a brocha on Lulav, they do not say a brocha on Sukkah. 
why? According to my approach and my understanding, it makes so much sense, so logical. Because women are not kurveya dira in the sukkah. They eat sometimes in the sukkah, they eat out of the sukkah. And ikka mitzvah sukkah is kviyas dira. The sukkah is special fuels yummy. So the mitzvah sukkah is not actually eating in the sukkah or sitting in the sukkah but dwelling in the sukkah, living in the sukkah. So Noshim don't have the ability to look kind this Mr. Mishlemus, and that's why the Minig in Lemberg and the Minig in the Samsoipa's home was, Noshim did not say a brocha on Yeshiva the sukkah, even though they did say a brocha on the Nidav. Yosef Masha Umarati Lefnechem Kosuf Khan. I once again apologize for being late to today, Sheen, and it's just a miracle. As you see, I'm sitting outside in someone's porch and it's dark behind me. So, Bor Hashem Siyat Edemat, Siyat Edishmai, Beschus Arabim, I made it to this year. So, I apologize once again. So, the sukkah we discussed today is a profound sukkah. It's a new, it's a new approach. It's a naya blick of the midst of sukkah called Shiva. And I discussed this at greater length. I also uh, plan to speak about Tesvav, Tesvav, Machagamatsis, but that will need to be on another opportunity. So I hope to see you next Sunday, and I hope next Sunday to be on time. And for the time being, have a v'chasim etoiva v'sifron shal tzadikim gemuri mushadim avasa v'soyri stoivois. And I hope things are okay in your part of the world. They're not so great in our part of the world. And we all daven and hope. Tichle shona v'kir loiseyo, tochel shona v'bir loiseyo, we should be mavasa v'soyri stoivois. And have a good, good bench, you for all of you. Exceed the chassim to the